It's the G to the U to the R to the U. So now I want to finish this up real quick because I don't want to finish on a negative. You don't know me. I'm not no negative. I don't want to finish on a negative situation. I want to talk about, you know, because I got I get Frank right, you know, some props. He was, came from the Eagles organization. And I want to talk about Nick Seriani, man, the, the Eagles head coach, man. And the more I look at this, when we first started, when I first, st when, the, when the Eagles hired Nick Seriani and the whole situation, when I looked at him from the press conference, just the whole situation from the, what he talks about from the free drive, from the combine, I just like, I'm like, who's this clown, man? I'm like, who's this circus? Like, I don't like the circus. You know what I'm saying? I don't go to the circus because I don't like clowns. I just don't like clowns. That's why I don't go to the circus. So I'm like, what is happening in Philadelphia, man? It's like a circus. And I'm like, you know, man, I, I'm anti-circus. I don't like clowns. I just don't like clowns, man. That's why I don't go to the circus. But now what's happening is like, you know what? I'm like, wow. It might not be a circus over there after all, man. It looked like a circus at one point with the Dougie Peterson situation. Carson, it looked like a clown show. But when everything just, you know, just everything said and done, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, Nick Sagan is a weird dude. He looks like he should be in a circus. But you know what? He's just a weird intellectual dude, man. It's just, there's just certain dudes that are just awkwardly intellectual. Some people might say the guru is an awkwardly intellectual dude. Yeah. And I look at Nick Sirianni and his style of play. He's doing with the Philadelphia Eagles with those young bucks with Jalen Hurts. And I'm like, you know what, man? It's all right, man. It's all right, man. I'm not going to come here and say Nick Sirianni is going to be the best coach or this or that. But as of right now, I, with this team, whatever messages he's telling this young team, they can believe anything they want, dude, because it's a young kid. You know, if you're a parent, you have young kids, you have kids around, they believe whatever crap that you, you say out your mouth. That's what happened. The Philadelphia Eagles offense is a bunch of young kids. You got Jalen Hurts, you got um, Smith, you got Miles, you got a bunch of young kids. And you got Nick Seriani coming in as a parent. So basically, he can say whatever the hell he wants, and the kids will eat it up and believe it, man. And that's why he's the perfect coach for the Philadelphia Eagles right now. Perfect coach, man. I don't know about his X's and O's. I don't know about his situation of football. In fact, frankly, I don't care. I don't care. Because right now, for the way the Philadelphia teams are built, and they're set up with the offense being so young, so young, and with no ego, with those guys led by Jalen Hurts, I think it's, a, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those crazy, crazy, but I think it's a good mix. It's a good little match for right now. And you know, it's for, for right now, Nick Sirianni, my golly. I think you're all right, man. I think you're all right, man. I ain't going to... I ain't gonna beat up on you, but I ain't gonna give you too much props. But I'm just gonna say you one of those things. I'm like, yeah, you all right. You know what I'm saying? I look at Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. I'm like, yeah, you all right. I look at the Eagles. I'm like, ah, you all right, man. At least it's not a clown show. <laughs> and that's why y'all tune in to watch Monday Morning Football every Monday morning because y'all know it's not a clown show. <laughs> y'all know the drill, man. Like this. Love this, share this, and I am out.